Hello everyone, this is Kelly and I'd like to welcome you back to Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and day three of our Celebrate release. Make sure you check out the description box below for all the details on our upcoming release and the release party. First up today, I have the beautiful, lovely Layers Iris. Here is the beautiful layering guide that shows the iris itself, the stem, and the little bud. Now if I take out the die set, you're going to see all of the pieces here. We have the large iris blossom. Now some of the dies for the smaller pieces like the little bud are all on one die, so it's easy to run one pass through your die machine. And again, the layering guide is going to give you some color suggestions, plus show you exactly how to put this lovely layers iris together. Now next up is another Lovely Layers, and this is the Lovely Layers Rabbit. It makes the sweetest little bunny rabbit look at its sweet little face and those long ears. Now let's take a look at the die set. It is a small die set with lots of detail, and I have cut this little guy out of white, but even in just the white cardstock, you can see all of that embossed or debossed detail here and the sweet little face. If I hold it up in the light, you're gonna see all of its sweet little fur and its little face. Now I don't have the eyes added in to this little guy here, but it does have little eyes that you can insert there on his little face. It even has a fluffy little tail back there and it's so sweet. Next up is our lovely Layers Hummingbird. And again, the sweetest little hummingbird. I know I say that about every little critter and every little set, but this hummingbird is just absolutely beautiful. It's a small die set. It's easy to put together. Again, you can color these hummingbirds in any shade that you like, but these pieces just go together like a little puzzle. And the hummingbird layering guide is going to be easy to follow and show you exactly where all of your little hummingbird pieces go. Here I've created a hummingbird card. You can see I've done like a ruby throated or red throated hummingbird, lots of beautiful colors. And I've added my lovely layers hummingbird on our brand new Sandy's Garden 3D embossing folder. Here's a look at that beautiful embossing folder. It is five by seven in size, so it's great for our A7 card makers. And you can trim, trim down your cardstock and make A2 cards with this as well. If I pick up this little blush pink piece of cardstock here, I'm gonna give you a look at all of the beautiful detail in the embossing folder. So we have the raised side that has the little lumps and bumps, and then we have the side that has the little valleys in it. And then when you run your paper through your die machine with this embossing folder, you're going to get this beautiful uh, flowery floral image. It's just absolutely beautiful with all types of flowers in there. I'm going to put my paper right back down inside here and give you one last look at the Sandy's Garden 3D embossing folder. Next up is the beautiful Blessings of Spring sentiment set. So lots of springy sentiments, a great font. We have It's Your Time to Bloom. The time of singing birds has come. May your day bloom with happiness. Wishing you all the beautiful blessings of spring. Happy spring, happy Easter, hello. Spring blooms with a little dirt and rain and you are my sunshine. Of course, there is the coordinating die set that's going to allow you to stamp and die cut all those beautiful sentiments. Next up is the Lovely Layers Herb Garden. Now this die set creates the cutest little herb garden. It has a layering little bucket with a handle even. It has basil, thyme, and mint with layering leaves. It even has the little garden signs that you can poke down in with your little uh, herb plants. You can see all the stems here to the top and then the little add-on leaves the little parts to the bucket, and then the layering sign there at the bottom that's going to press in what type of flower it is, whether it's thyme, basil, mint, or parsley. Next is the Lovely Layers Spring Porch add-on. Now this is an add-on for our original front porch die set. So in this die set, it is going to help you to deck your front porch out for spring with the beautiful climbing wisteria, there's hydrangeas and other plants, there's even a little garden gate. Now this is that original front 
porch die set. So in the front porch add-on, you're going to get a new shape for the front door and then all the little spring accessories. So there's the new shape with the little shuttered sides that go across the side lights. There's a little garden gate. There's the climbing wisteria that can go across the porch. There's a little hydrangea plant. There is a new lantern that you can hang, a new planter. There's also a little welcome sign that can go across the gate. There's also little hinges that go on the gate. This is so adorable and it almost turns your front porch into a little springtime cottage. When it's all put together, it's absolutely gorgeous. And next up is the Lovely Layers April Showers. Again, I say this with all the die sets, but this one is so adorable. I am in love with that tiny little bird perched there on the toe of the boot. But this die set includes everything you need to make some little rain boots, an umbrella, there's a grouping of different types of spring flowers, and then of course there is that cute little layering birdie. There is a crocus flower, there is a tulip, there is a violet, there's leaves and a stem that you can add. I'm in love with the little rain boots. And then here is a card that I created in one of our live streams using this whole die set. And again, I am just in love with the little flowers, the springtime colors, and and then of course my favorite is that cute little bird. The next beautiful stamp set is by Kelly Taylor. Kelly has offered her beautiful talents and images to this stamp and die set. It is called Everything Beautiful. So it has this beautiful grouping of spring flowers. There are tulips and lilies and then lots of great sentiments to go with those florals. Wishing you a special day filled with your favorite things. Where would I be without you? He has made everything beautiful in its time. Ecclesiastes 311. Thinking of you and wishing you comfort and peace. I'm here for you. And a few more sentiments. And of course, there is a die set that's going to cut out every one of those images, plus the little extra flowers that you can use to pop up on your little springtime bouquet. This stamp and coordinating die set is called Bees and Bonnets. Now we have blue bonnets with a little ladybug. We've got like little hanging bluebells. There are poppies and there are also daffodils. Now tucked into some of these little flowers are the little bottoms of the bee like right there. Those just crack me up. There is a little ladybug and there's a little bee bottom right there like it is gone down into those little florals to collect its pollen. There are extra butterflies and a hummingbird and some extra florals that you can add. There's lots of great sentiments to my dearest friend and thinking of you and love you. And of course, there is the coordinating die set that's going to cut out every one of those images and sentiments. But there is also a great stencil set that's going to help you color in all the images in the bees and bonnets stamp set. So if we take a look here, you can see this one is going to color in a lot of the greenery for those flowers. And then we have some of the details on the flowers and even the little butterflies and bees. The next one is going to color in a lot of the petals and things on the little blossoms. If I flip over for the next one, it's going to color in the butterfly's wings, some layers on the bees, and then the little daffodil areas. Next, we have the one that's going to color in the poppies, the ladybug, and some of the uh, other little details of the flowers. So if I stack these up here, you're going to be able to see the entire images and how these stencils are going to make it super easy to color in all of the bees and bonnets. Now, here is a card that I created in one of our live streams with this stamp die and stencil set and here you can really get a look at those sweet little bees I love the little bee bottom sticking out of the poppy there and I love the little ladybug and butterfly and then I added the sentiment to my dearest friend Next is the sweetest little stamp die and stencil collection called Storybook Spring and this is by Don Holslegel 
it has the sweetest little images. Look at that little bunny rabbit. There are bees even and butterflies, sweet, sweet florals. I love that some of the florals can go across the little bunny rabbit's head. So if you wanted to make a boy bunny or add the little florals and make a girl bunny, you could do that. There is the floral swags and then the wreath as you see there. Lots of great springtime greetings like Easter blessings, wishing you a spring full of blessings, sending spring greetings, sending spring hello, hoping your day is filled with family, friends, and love. May every day bloom with happiness for you this spring. And then there, of course, is the coordinating die set that's going to cut out every one of those images and all the sentiments. And then if that was not enough, there is the coordinating stencil set that's going to help you color in all of those sweet images. So let's take a close up look at the stencil set. So if I lay these out, you're gonna see the whole design for the stamp set and everything that the stencils are gonna color in. If we look at them one by one, you'll see the little open holes and what that is going to help you color. So that one was for some of the small flowers. Here is all of the bigger florals. If we keep going through here, we have the centers of the flowers and then that sweet little bunny rabbit, even the butterflies. And then the last one we have here is for a lot of the greenery and all of those little swags and wreaths and I am just in love with that sweet little storybook spring bunny rabbit face. So again this set was created by Don Holslagel. There are the stamps, dies, and stencils. The next stamp, die, and stencil set is called the squared spring florals. Now this creates a large square of florals that is made to like it's hanging off the side of your card. I'm going to pull off, I pull out an A2 card base here and I'm just going to hold up one of my little tester uh, stamp and die cuts that I did and you can see how it's just going to kind of trickle down from the upper left hand corner all the way down to the bottom of the card and so we've got this beautiful floral lots of sentiments that you're going to be able to stamp either inside the square or stamp and die cut that and pop that up there's the coordinating die set that's going to cut out the beautiful squared floral image along with all of those awesome sentiments and then if that is not enough, we have the stencils that are going to help us color in all those pretty florals. So I'm just going to stack these up here. You can see the whole design and then we're going to start getting into the little details. So we have some of the petals being colored in with that one, some of the larger petals. If I go to the next one, it's some of the small details in the little flowers, a lot of the greenery and the centers of the flowers some of the larger petals again and then again and some of the larger petals so lots of stencils to help us color this in they're really easy to line up because you can see the whole design is etched into each clear stencil and then again this is the squared spring florals okay it's time to create a card today and i'm going to be using the new lovely layers iris die set. So I have cut everything out of white cardstock. I have it stuck down on my waffle flower sticky grip mat and I'm going to start out with mustard seed. I'm going to add mustard seed in only certain portions of this little iris. You can see where I'm testing it off on my scrap paper there, uh, rubbing some of that ink off. And then you can use the layering guide if you like or you can use photos on Pinterest or whatever will help you out when uh, ink blending and when coloring but I'm gonna add a majority of that pigment into the center of each of the flowers and this iris is like a lot of our other lovely layers dyes where portions of the petals and flowers and leaves and things have that embossed or debossed detail into that and so that's mainly where you want to add all of your ink blending because the all the details are what's going to be seen when it's all layered together. Now on this largest uh, portion or what's going to be the bottom layer of our flower, I am adding a really deep 
purple. This is Dusty Concord. And you can see back there where I'm adding the really dark uh, pigment to the that top. And then I'm going to do the same thing right around the edge of this one and get the edge of that petals. I'm tipping that brush up on its edge and hitting just the edge of the petals. Same thing with this one. And I'm just going to keep working through um, these layers and adding just lit little bits of a color at a time because I can always go back and dip into my ink pad to add more. But once it's added onto that paper, you can't hide it or can't take it away. So I'm adding little bits at a time here and there. And then I can always go back and add more pigment if I want to. Next, I'm going in with Shaded Lilac. This is a really pale, beautiful purple. And now I'm going to ink blend um, this onto the petals and make the lighter areas of purple. So um, again, I'm kind of picking and choosing where I add that Shaded Lilac, sometimes blending it in to the purple to kind of tone it down just a little bit. And so once I get this added, see, I wanted to add a deeper color right there to the tip of that. So I just took my darker brush and then added that back in. I can always go back and add more pigment later, like I'm doing here, but it's harder to take it away or to tone down your color. Here, I'm going to blend that shaded lilac up into the darker purple up there. We're going to finish everything off. And then this iris is going to be ready to put together. Okay, I had a little boo-boo with my camera and I missed the filming of the stems and the leaves. That is all done with Rustic Wilderness ink. I just varied the intensity of the ink. You can see that back long leaf back there that is done very heavy handed with the Rustic Wilderness ink. And then um, some of the other pieces are done much lighter, like not dipping back into the ink pad, just using the ink that was still in the bristles on my brush. So I am going to use this pattern paper with this green kind of um, geometric background for this iris, but I'm going to add some details into um, my little petals. And this is very easy to do because I can cheat and use those embossed lines that those dies press into your paper. All I do is cheat and go right over that, trace right over that with whatever colored pencil. Now I'm not hitting every single line, I'm just kind of skipping through with this really deep purple and adding some of those uh, little details back in. Some that get a little lighter and a little faded out when you brush on your ink. So after I am finished with this and with the colored pencil, I'm ready to move on with the rest of my card. So I cut down that beautiful green pattern paper and I am just rounding the corners with a corner rounder. And I'm just gonna put this on a white top folding card base. So I like to round the corners. Sometimes it just adds a little something, sometimes a little something different. And honestly, it's something that I often forget about is just, you know, rounding the corners to make it a little something different but it's something easy that we can all do just to change it up a little bit so we don't have sharp square corners all the time. So my beautiful iris is gonna nestle right there in the center and you can see how pretty that is on that green geometric paper. I am going to stamp our sentiment and this one comes from the Blessings of Spring stamp set. And I am going to stamp uh, one of these small sentiments. Now I like to hold my stamp set up to my card to kind of see which sentiment will kind of nestle in here and there, which one I want to use. And I'm just going to use the um, Happy Spring sentiment. I'm going to stamp it in the same rustic wilderness ink. It's the same color that I did the leaves and the stem. And then that way everything is going to tie all together. Now once I get my little Happy Spring Spring dried here that I stamped it in the uh, Distress Oxide ink and so it does stay wet just a little bit longer. So I always like to heat that up and make sure that that ink is good and dry with my heat tool before I die cut it. That way I don't get upset if that ink uh, spreads or kind of smears a little bit. 
So once I have my sentiment die cut, I'm ready to really put this card together. I've added my iris down onto my pattern paper. And then to add just a little something, I am going to add some of my crinkle ribbon, which is dyed seam binding. So I've wrapped my seam binding around my little card panel one time. I'm tying it in just a simple bow. I'm going to trim off the tails first, and then I'm going to add a double bow just by simply tying another bow right around the knot of the first bow. And let me tell you, I could fuss with ribbons and tails and just to get them perfect all day long, but I, I have to just stop myself. So I'm going to slip in the seam binding, as I mentioned, under the first knot, and I'm going to tie a simple bow and make sure it's really good and tight. And then I can kind of spread out all uh, four of the tails. And now I have four loops because I've made myself a little double bow with this crinkle ribbon. Now, once I am happy with how everything is looking, I can trim the new tails off to match the others. And now I've got a double little bow uh, tucked over there. This iris would be absolutely gorgeous for a Mother's Day card or for a grandmother birthdays or just a springtime card like I've done here. And I especially love to pull out my crinkle ribbon. Seems like I do it a lot in, when I'm making spring and summer cards just because we use all of our florals and all of our pretty things. Now I'm finishing off my card here with the new Let's Party um adhesive pearls and it has that really pretty green which again is going to tie in and then here is a close-up look at that finished card you can see all that wonderful detail in the iris blossom there so beautiful thank you for joining me for day three of our celebrate release make sure you check out the description box below for all the information on our upcoming release and release party and i'll see you again tomorrow Bye bye